What up, it's your boy, two Y's, two D's, and the K. It's your man, J Kid. Yep, it's kind of tripping out here today, just a little bit, it's a little wet. You know what I mean? But, uh, you know, sometimes you have to put burdens aside. You know what I'm saying? No matter what the situation may be, sometimes you just got to put certain things aside when things happen to you. You know, um, with me personally, I had an incident that took place a few months ago and me personally you know i'm ready to take his head off but you know as i talk to a few people talk to a few friends you know what i mean they like you know if you do something now at the end of the day guess what it's gonna reflect back on you because why that person's the bigger person because that person let it go and why would you hold on to something for so duration of time you know what i mean and um just sitting here thinking like can i hold this animosity against this individual i could can i beat the fuck out of his ass and fuck him up i could you know what i mean but at the end of the day i'm looking at it like this what is the benefit in me you know what i'm saying at the end of the day i had the cops called on me uh it was told on my folks and all this other madness. But see, at times, like I said, you gotta be the bigger person in more ways than one. And um, that's the best remedy And nowadays. You gotta let things go, no matter how much it affects you, no matter how much it hurts you, no matter how much it gets on your nerves, how much you wanna take a nigga head off, take his whole frame and just put his six feet under what you call a dirt nap, right? So, you know, just got to let things go. And, you know, it's been a few months, a couple of months, or however many times it's been since that incident happened with this guy, with my best friend. And, you know, I just, like I said, I talked to a few people and, you know, got their best judgment and their understanding. And so I'm just going to let it go. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be tough for me to let it go because... At the end of the day, you know, when you do something to somebody, you want to get them back. But then again, you know, what can you do that the Lord can't? What you do to a person is a mustard seed to what the Lord can do. And so, you know, I'm just going to wash my hands, throw it up. Like, fuck it. It is what it is, man. And, you know, I love my best friend. I love him to death. I grew up with him for damn near 25, 30 years. And to really go that low to to really go that low to actually call the police and snitch and tell on me for the situation that he took place and he the one that started, man, I gotta let that shit go. So um, you know, it's it's tough, it's hard, it's very difficult for me to let things go, especially when somebody does something to me in that format. Not saying that people hasn't done to, done nothing to me, but it's just I gotta let it go. So uh, the key word to this is that no matter what you do, there's always gonna be a tunnel, and it's gonna be a light at the end of the tunnel. Follow that light. Follow that jurisdiction. You know what I mean? And like I said, revenge is not for the average Joe. Lord said revenge is his. So I'm going to go ahead and let the Lord handle that. And uh, we're just going to go from there, man. Go Hawks.